Hey guys, it's Rick Uter here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV, and we are at the 54th annual Daisy National BB Gun Competition. It's here in Rogers, Arkansas. There are teams from all over the country, 64 in fact, and they're gonna be shooting just down here, and they're gonna be shooting four position with the Avanti 499 air gun. Now let me tell you a little bit about what this competition is about. First of all, it's all about the kids. These are youth shooters from eight to 14, and they're serious about the sport. It teaches them discipline, personal responsibility, teamwork, proper gun handling. It has a great educational perspective. This is a great foundational tool that helps them kind of jumpstart their lives, and it's also just a ton of fun. When you see the smile on these kids' face when they hit the 10 ring, you see what it's all about. So stay with us over the next couple episodes. We're gonna be just deep diving into this whole event and talking to some great folks, shooting with some great kids, just having a great time. We're gonna teach you guys what this competition is all about. Stay with us. Welcome to Rogers, Arkansas for the 2019 Daisy Nationals. I want to thank all of you that are in this room for the dedication to this cause, to this purpose. You know, when you think about different sports and you think about what you learn through team sports and individual sports and skilled sports, this has all of it. And the things and the lessons that you're learning right now will carry through with you into adulthood, into your professions for the remainder of your life. The best of the best make mistakes and they don't always do what they want to do. The key, right, the point I want everybody here to remember is keep getting up, keep trying. What you do is an, is an art, right? It's a discipline. It's a lifestyle. And you should be proud of it. If it doesn't go your way, guess what? There'll be another time, okay? And for all you kids, I love that you make shooting cool, and I'm excited to see the next couple of days. So welcome to Rogers, welcome to the BB Gun Championship, and thank you. The Daisy Nationals all centers around the shooter's skill, not their wallet. Everyone is shooting the same affordable BB gun, the Avanti 499. Let's check out what makes this BB gun so special. So let's get into the secret sauce at what makes the 499 so accurate. First of all, it's balanced for competition, and that's very, very important. It's got a thicker forearm, a little bit of more meatier buttstock here. Additionally, we've got these really nice micro-click peep sights. Now, when you line this up, you've got a circle aperture here, and when everything's perfectly in line, the black spot of the target at five yards or five meters completely fills that aperture so you know you're dead on target. That's how that works, and these are very, very accurate. Internally, we've got a softer spring, so it's shooting about 220-ish or 250-ish in that feet per second, which is a lot less than, say, like the Red Rider. Remember, this is designed to just go five meters as accurately as possible, so consistency is really the key. Now, when you get to this part, this is completely different from your traditional Red Rider. It's really where you actually come from. That is a precision shot tube. These are absolutely measured on every, every conceivable way to be as accurately smooth as possible, as tight as possible to give you the most accuracy. When you drop these in, it secures to the barrel or it secures to the shroud here and becomes extremely rigid. And that's really where you get most of your accuracy from the Daisy 499. You put this all together, you have a great little platform for young shooters to get sort of started in the precision shooting. It's got a good weight, it's an easy action, decent trigger, great sights, and really good accuracy. This is the Daisy 499, and that's what they're shooting right down the hall. 
This competition is based around four basic shooting positions, kneeling, sitting, standing, and prone. To help us understand how this works, we're going to have good old Ricky shoot against one of the competitors to show him the ropes. It's a 10-year-old girl. This should be a hoot. Hey guys, we are here at the Daisy Nationals. This is the 54th annual, and I'm here shooting with Daniela, and she's gonna walk me through how this competition works. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And so we've kind of teased a little bit as can Rick shoot better than a fifth grader, because you're in fifth grade, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going with probably not. I mean, I'm gonna start listing off the line of excuses. We got wind <laughs> conditions, because the air conditioner just kicked on. This is not my gun, it just handed it to me. These are all things, so when she whoops my tail, y'all know that Rick can really shoot better than what you're seeing. So we'll just start with that right off the rip. But before we get going, how long have you been shooting? I've been shooting two years. This is my second year. Second year, okay. I've been shooting, we're not gonna talk about how many years I've been shooting. So <laughs> I'm about to get beat by a 10 year old, been shooting two years. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna get prepped up, we'll be back, and we'll see if Rick can shoot better than a fifth grader. take a look at that target that is not even funny <laughs> yeah hey, that's actually pretty good yeah that's yeah huh <laughs> all right so that's round one <laughs> round one goes to Daniela okay so wow look at this not bad grouping but I'm pulling to the left a little bit see that Take out the right side, make sure I, I got that. We just got to get that. We got to get that moving over. We're not done yet, guys. <laughs> We're not done yet, guys. We got three more chances here <laughs> to beat this little wonder here. All right, what's the next position? So this is just prep period, right? Uh, I was shooting for realsies. <laughs> what's that? What was? What do you mean prep period? <laughs> I'm good to go here. I just got a 10, is that why you're? <laughs> now, what do you think of that? He won. He what do won. you think of that one right there? I need to sign that. <laughs> I'm serious, that's like awesome. Good job. Look at that. Oh, oh it's, oh, it's like a bunch of nines. I didn't quite get the tens. No, you didn't. You got a eight. You didn't hit the nine. Oh, the nine is, oh. <laughs> I got eights. <laughs> but they're all right there. Look at that. All right, let's see what you did. Oh. I think I might have got you that one. We might, are we tied? Can we can we say that we're you're a solid tie on that last one? Now we're all tied up. Okay, that's all right. We're one up now. Now is this for realsies now? I just <laughs> want to know if this is for realsies. <laughs> are, we, are we ready for realsies? Right? Okay. Just check it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I got a good one that. I got one good one. That's a nine. Oh, come on. Yes, <laughs> that's a nine. Okay. All right, well, how'd you do? Good job. How'd you do? Oh, you did okay. I might have got you on that last one, too. I'm feeling pretty good now. All right, here we go. Mm, hold on, I gotta attach my sling. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> Oh no, I hit a 10. 
I hit a 10. Great. I think she got one too. <laughs> What'd you get? Eight. Oh! <sighs> All right, Daniela, that was awesome. Now, I don't know. If we were really shooting a real match, I think you probably would have beat because you can absolutely shoot. That was a lot Thanks. of fun. Stick with it. Now, you think you're going to go to 10 meter when you're done with the BB guns? Maybe. You should definitely keep going and maybe we'll see you at the Olympics one year, right? You go from BB guns to 10 meter all the way to the Olympics, that would be awesome. Thank you so much for the challenge. That was a lot of fun, guys. We're gonna get back to the Daisy Nationals. This is awesome. Let's go talk to some of the people out there, see what they have to say about this great sport. All right, guys, I'm here with Sean. How you doing, Sean? Good to meet you. Yep, we are talking to Sean because he's a coach from one of the South Dakota teams, and I found out, now tell me if I'm wrong, that South Dakota's got quite the showing here this year. We got some potential. Yeah, see, this, they just do this, they play it really camp, they're right close to the vest, they're like not giving anything away. All right, so tell me a little bit about now, how long you've been doing this, why you started, why you keep doing it? So I've been with the BB gun program for about five years now. I've been coaching for four. Um, I got started with BB because I shot competitively when okay. I was younger. And I really enjoyed it and I know what I got out of it. And I'd like to see that given back to the next generation of kids. Outstanding. Okay. And do you have any personal investment? You got some children involved in this? I have a daughter that's shooting. Oh, yes. there you go. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of coaches that have children in, involved in the oh, program. Yeah. yeah. So is that kind of what got you started in it again, or? Um, no, actually, I kind of got a little involved before she was. Oh, so that's that's cool. I, I was headed this way anyway. Oh, well, that's awesome. So you've been doing this for five years, and you keep doing it because you want to see the youth kind of get the same experience you had. Yep. Tell me a little bit about what you did when you were shooting. Did you shoot BB competitive or 10 meter? Or what did you do? Uh, I did small bore. Okay. Um, uh, I, like rimfire type yep, stuff? Okay. Yep. Small bore. I did a little bit in high school and then I shot for SDSU right. on the club team there. That's very cool. All right. Do you have any of your shooters you see going beyond BB like the 10 meter precision and like you have, you have any Olympic hopefuls down in, oh, in Olympics, the camp. Olympics a big word. <laughs> yeah. we, we do have some in the state that I think have that potential. That's very cool. Um, but yeah, we're, we've got kids that are moving on, um, doing uh, sporter air rifle. Uh, we had a kid do real well in muzzle loader at okay. 4-H Nationals last week. That's cool. So we're a little more than BB. All right, rolled and into 4-H. How many, how many kids do you guys have involved in your shooting program right now? Oh, it's a tough number to get a finger on, but typically we sign up about 70 kids each year. Wow, okay. So it's a good, good group. That's great, and you bring, if you qualify, you get to bring seven of them here, right? Five primary, two alternate, alternates? Yep, yep, and this year we have one bonus because we have a kid that's shooting in the champions match. That's excellent. All right, so you got eight. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. All right, well, good luck to you and your team. We've got some more guys here and a nice gal. They're from Chattooga. We've got Nasaya, Quentin, and Tanner, and they're gonna tell us why they love coming here, why they love shooting. Go for it. You can make new friends, and also it can lead up to scholarships in the future. That's a smart thinker right there. What about you? Scholarships. Scholarships, what about you? Scholarships and just having fun, shooting, and doing what we love. Awesome, thank you guys. That was good, up, up top. That was good, that was awesome. All right, we got another young lady here. This is Regan. Regan, talk really loud to that mic. Tell us why you like coming here and why you love shooting. I like shooting because I get to beat my brother. That's always a valid reason to go shooting, isn't it? All right, guys, we're here again, Daisy Nationals. We've got Jaden, Ha Ha George, Kenzie. Yep. Yeah! They're gonna tell us why they like coming here and why they love shooting. Go for it. Um, I like coming here just to meet new people, and I like shooting because it's a fun sport, and you get to hang out with friends. Awesome. I'm about the same thing other than the fact that I enjoy the competition. Okay. Um, I enjoy the competition. I like meeting the new friends. We are here with Layla and we're at the 54th Annual Daisy National. She's going to tell us why she likes coming here and why she loves shooting. Go for it. Okay, so I've never traveled this far before and I thought it was really fun to come to this because it's just an honor to be here and 
I was one of the top shooters on my team. And coming to this doesn't only give me a chance to shoot, but I also get to travel to places I've never been before. Because it's fun and just learning is really fun and it's just fun all around. Great, we have a lot of fun going on. Thank you, right up top. Awesome. All right guys, we're here again, 54th annual Daisy Nationals BB Gun Competition. I'm here with Keith, president and CEO of Gamo and Daisy. Pretty cool stuff, man. Well, thanks for having me. Um, thanks for having us. Yeah. I mean, we were talking a little while ago and I made the comment that if it wasn't for you, this wouldn't be here. And you were pretty true to say that this was here before you were here. Absolutely. But you are the guy that's keeping it going. True. That is your vision of commitment to the youth shooting programs here in the U.S., right? So tell me, I mean, really how important is that to you and to Daisy and Gamble? I mean, it's critical for us, right? So when we bought Daisy, uh, obviously Daisy owns the youth shooting market in the U.S., right? They mm -hmm. do. Absolutely. Um, the first time I attended this event, I was, I, I was actually amazed and it almost brought back, you know, memories when I was a child. It helped me realize that America still has some hope. I mean, I hate to say it that <laughs> way, but really and truly, um, these are core principles here. Yeah. I mean, this is discipline. This is... You know, you have to you have to take it seriously. You have to you, you study. You have to know safety. Safety's right. ginormous for us. So, for what Daisy represents, 133 years old. I think I think we've taught more people to shoot than any other company in the world. Probably right? true. I mean, Absolutely. You, you talk to people. Every gun, their first gun was a Daisy. Right. So this is critical for us. This is this is mission possible. I mean, this is what we do. If we don't if we don't empower these kids and get these kids excited about shooting sports, shooting sports are going to go away. So this is mission critical for Daisy and Gamo. Sure. I mean, we have to do. What you just said is, is absolutely critical because there's a lot of attention being put on other stuff, but this is BB gun and you hear it as well as I hear it, it's just a BB gun. It's not just a BB gun. This is the beginning of a legacy for that young shooter that's gonna take that BB gun, gonna learn safety, gonna learn discipline, gonna learn proper gun etiquette, all of those things, gonna learn responsibility, and then they're gonna take that and they're gonna go forward with it. They're gonna take that BB gun, they're gonna to go to a Pelican, then they're gonna to go to a 22 long rifle. Then this is where it all starts. And if there's not a core investment in developing this market and that understanding with these young shooters on a massively larger scale than it's done, been done in the past, then we're in trouble. Right, I mean, so tell me, is it just T-ball? No, it's and not. Is it just flag football? No. So it's the same thing, right? Yeah. You got to start somewhere. Yeah. What this does for these kids is this gives these kids the confidence. And what I love about this sport is we are so stereotyped in this in this country on you have to be tall, you have to be athletic, you have to be whatever. Not you there. Can be, you can be anything here. Look, look you, at this. That's right. You can be anything <laughs> if you if you if you if you're dedicated to the sport and you practice the sport and you learn the disciplines of the sport, you can succeed. Yeah. And that's, that's one thing I love about it. And that's a good point. I want to say thank you for doing this, for having us here, for giving us time out of your busy schedule to come here and do this. And it really is so important, guys. If you want to see uh, children off the couch and off their electronics and having fun in something that's a more active sport that really teaches them some core values, teamwork is part of it as well, because this is a team event, not an individual event then this is a great way to start. And if you are even at all curious about how to do it, you can go to Daisy's website. They actually have a curriculum. If you're interested, you can actually get your own team going. It's not very expensive. And you guys even help, help them out with the equipment. So this is something that's very, very achievable. It's attainable. It's not some pie in the sky. You can be part of the solution just like Keith is with Daisy and Gamo. So guys, I want to encourage you to get out there, check it out. Keith, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Thank you guys I appreciate for being everything. Here. Well guys, that's it for part one of the Daisy National BB Gun Championship match here in Rogers, Arkansas. Guys, we've got a lot more coming your way from this year's competition. Stay tuned for the next episode. All right, we're here at the Daisy Nationals. This is Gareth. Gareth, tell the camera, you gotta speak loud. Tell the camera why you love coming here, why you love shooting. The main reason why I love coming, I mean, here. We'll do that again. You can do, we can edit. Yeah, edit it. The main edit. reason why I love coming you, you here is shooting. Chance? No, no, okay, no. go ahead. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. This is supposed to be fun. Go for it. The main reason Are you why. Ready? I love... yeah. <laughs> Smack him. Punch him right here. Punch him right here. <laughs>